welcome to this special place to be with God. Just like the place where you are, this is a place where we can talk to God, we can listen to God, we can tell the stories of God. It's a place where we don't have to hurry because we have all the time we need. And it's a place where sometimes we try to talk more softly because someone might be talking to God and we don't want to disturb them. So I want to start by saying, may God's peace be with you all. And you can wish peace to um, the other people who are with you. And the response is, and also with you. Today is the first Sunday of Lent. And so if you are looking at our church year calendar right now, you can see that that arrow is pointing to the first purple Sunday. So I'm going to let you look at that and count how many purple Sundays there are. And then we'll talk about that a little bit more later. If you have a battery operated candle, you could turn that on now. Or if your parents will help you light a candle, they can do that too. Or you can just enjoy this one here. And we light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is always with us. And especially when we gather together to hear God's stories. So there's lots of ways to get ready. Lighting the candle is one way to get ready to hear God's story. You can also make sure that your body is in a comfortable and relaxed position. Sometimes we like to take a deep breath. And then we'll sing, Be Still and Know. So I hope that you'll join with me and you can do the actions too. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. So when we sing that song, we know it's time to hear one of God's stories. wonder what this could be. It's very rough. It's also very deep purple. We know that purple is the color of Advent, the time we are getting ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus at Christmas time. Purple is the color for getting ready. Maybe there's something inside that will help. Hmm. Well, there's this. It's rough and it's also purple. There's more. Well, there's four. Advent had four weeks, right, to get ready for Christmas? But there's still more. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Well, we know today is the first Sunday of Lent. And if these are about Lent, then maybe there's six weeks of Lent. That's an even longer getting ready time than Advent. There's something about the mystery of Easter that takes even more time to get ready. I wonder if there's a way to put these together to learn more about Lent. make a cross. I wonder what the cross can tell us about the season of Lent. What do you wonder? about this story. I wonder why purple is the color for getting ready. I wonder what the cross can tell us about the stories of Lent and about the mystery of Easter. I wonder why it takes six weeks to get ready to celebrate the mystery of Easter. I wonder, I wonder what it means to get ready to celebrate the mystery. I wonder what you will do to celebrate, to get ready to celebrate the mystery of Easter. Now it's time to change our light. And that reminds us that the light of Christ that was in one place at one time is now in all places at all times, wherever we go and whatever we do. Maybe that can also tell us something about the mystery. 